Hey, it's Kirsten. I'm going to do a quick tutorial on the Santa hat and we're going to go ahead and use this image that I used in the last tutorial. So we are going to go file, place embedded, go to where you have your file downloaded. To me it's in a folder called Santa. We're going to kind of manipulate it here until it fits the head that it needs to be on. Okay, so this looks about like where it would go. So we're going to go ahead and just double click on it to place it where it needs to be. And now every head is different. They're tilted in different directions, looking left, looking right, yada, yada. So what we're going to do is have the Santa hat highlighted here in the layers panel. And we're going to go to filter and liquify. One of my favorite things. Okay, so there's a few different things we can do here. So I am going to just kind of push this over to her head. Then if I needed to, I could kind of bring it down a little bit if I wanted to make it a little fuller I could you get where you get where I'm going with this go ahead and hit OK okay so now it looks a little more form-fitting to her let's back up a little so you can see what it looks like okay that's pretty cute so if you wanted to deal with the color you can run you know any actions and then clip it to the hat for example Let's just um, let's just click on brightness and contrast for the hell of it. Okay, so brightness and contrast, we're gonna right click on this layer and do create clipping mask. Now it's only gonna affect the hat, it's not gonna affect the, the baby or the, or the Santa. So brightness and contrast, okay. Whoops. <laughs> Okay, so I want the hat to be kind of bright to match the white background. And then I kind of like the contrast bumped up a little bit too. You can see what it, what it looks like. Maybe that's a little bright. So you can go like that. I'm gonna click back on the hat for a second and hit the arrow key. I feel like Just go down a little bit like that. Okay, so that would work for me. So I would click on the three little arrows right here, hit flatten, and then I always go file, save as, and I would name this copy something something dot hat, like baby dot hat or something like that. Um, just so you don't go over the original because you never know, just in case the mom hates it, you can always go back and print it without it. So there you have it. 